40 seconds left. The ground umbilical to the third stage has been discontinued, disconnected. 30 seconds now. And 20 seconds until launch, the launch command has been issued. 15 seconds, second umbilical tower now separating. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Main lift off. Lift off confirmed. We can feel it. Everything jockey on board. And as you can see, lift off of the Soyuz TMA 04M on its way for the crew to join the International Space Station Expedition 31 crew carrying flight engineers Gennady Padanka, Sergey Revin, and Joe Acaba into space. Good first stage performance. Soyuz now delivering 102 tons of thrust for its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It's burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Nominal g load increase. It happens very smoothly and we feel good. A small vibration, other than that, everything's fine. 45 seconds, everything's nominal. Pressure inaudible. Copy everything's okay on board, we feel good. You can hear everything continuing as planned. Now a minute and 10 seconds into flight, the velocity of the Soyuz rocket is 1,100 miles per hour. Inaudible seconds. Flight nominal. Okay, on board is okay. Minute and a half into today's flight now. Everything's still going well. Great view here from uh, the clear skies in Baikonur as the Soyuz makes its way into space. Uh, stage one and two thrusters operate nominally. 100 seconds. Flight is nominal. Copy. Just over two minutes now into the flight, the four strap-on boosters, as you saw there, have been jettisoned. These have completed their job and dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles, and the Soyuz now traveling at about 3,350 miles an hour. View here inside uh, Soyuz capsule, again looking at Gennady Padaka on the left and Sergey Revin on the right, with Joe Acaba just out of view to uh, the right of Padaka. Now two minutes and 45 seconds into today's flight, the escape tower and launch shroud have also been jettisoned now. And there a view of uh, Joe, P <laughs> Joe Acaba inside the Soyuz. Capsule making his way to the International Space Station for his first long duration mission, his first ride aboard a Soyuz today. Three minutes now and uh, 10 seconds into today's flight, Soyuz traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles an hour. Lots of waves and thumbs up there from the crew. Everything continuing to go well in today's flight. Soyuz core stage is uh, performing as expected. This core stage of the Soyuz is 56 feet in length and 13 and a half feet in diameter with a single engine with four fuel chambers providing 96 tons of thrust for its three minute and 28 seconds of operation. All systems are nominal, no issues. Copy and everything's okay on board. Okay. 
260. It's your all nominal. Copy. Everything's okay on board. We feel okay. Everything is nominal. Here in this view of Joe Acaba, you can also just make out next to the window that he's sitting by the smoky bear talisman that the crew has chosen to uh, give them a clue of when they reach uh, microgravity. It'll be, of course, uh, floating once uh, they do make it to that point. We're now four minutes and 50 seconds into today's flight. Stage three thrusters are fired. Stage two separation confirmed. No issue. Copy. We selected the command. Copy. As you heard there, the core booster now burned out and separated at an altitude of 105 miles. And uh, the, the third stage, the Soyuz, is now ignited. 320 seconds. Nominal flight. Sergey, we see you and see you waving at us. Stage three thruster is operating normally. Everything's okay on board. We feel great. No issues. Everything is nominal. Third stage, as you heard there, now separated as well. That engine provided 30 tons of thrust and burned for four minutes and two seconds. Everything continuing to go well in today's uh, fight to the International Space Station. Copy. Three hundred and eighty seconds nominal flight. Stage three thruster operating nominally. Copy everything's okay on board, no issues. Jared there, all continuing to go well. Now uh, six minutes and forty five seconds into flight, which occurred on time at ten oh one PM Central Time. That's nine oh one AM Baikonur time. Four hundred and twenty seconds. How do you feel? Everything's okay. Four hundred and fifty seconds. Nominal flight, no issue. Copy, everything's okay on board. We also don't have any issues. Copy. Seven minutes and 45 seconds now in today's flight. The velocity of the Soyuz is about 13,500 miles an hour. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. Those stored commands are called time tag commands and allow many of the Soyuz systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise times stored in the computers. Five hundred seconds. Nominal flight. Everything's okay on board. No issues. Send it by for GECA 3. We see thermal sensor nominal operation. We see the repress, how copy, copy all. Okay. Third stage uh, separation now has been confirmed. The single Liquid fuel engine shut down and dropped away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. 
It's performing an avoidance maneuver by opening a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. We got the loud and clear master how us, loud and clear as well. Standing by on the vehicle system. It looks like a separation was nominal. A program for is complete. Proceeding. I'll copy. Now 10 minutes and 3 seconds into flight, the crew is uh, in the Soyuz now safely in orbit and the spacecraft is automatically executing its pre-programmed commands to deploy the antennas and solar arrays. 